Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be playing with the Tarte Magic Star Collector Set. Um, it looks like this. And it's got 25 shadows, 2 blushes, a highlighter, and a bronzer. Let's turn it this way so you guys can see. It also comes with 2 lip products and, oops, an eye pencil and a mascara. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please keep on watching. So as you can tell, I already have my base and my brows on. We're going to start with the eyes as usual. To be safe, I'm going to go in with my Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. And I'm going to ache my under eyes to protect from any fallout. It's been my new favorite thing to do. I typically don't do my foundation first, but for review purposes, I will. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Enigma. And then just taking the whatever is left over on my Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna set my eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E27. And I'm going to take the color Euphoria, which is right here. I'm just going to blend that all over the crease, like I usually do. Well, it's pretty pigmented. It's a little bit worried because there's not a lot of kickback, which you would think is a good thing. But with my experience, shadows that have zero kickback tend to be less pigmented when applied. But that's really pretty. So now I'm gonna take this semi dirty, but no extra product on it, uh, Sigma E25. And we're gonna go in with Festival, which is right here. Just take my brush. Again, no fallout on this. I almost kind of feel like I have to dig into it. I'm going to place that directly into the crease. So, so far so good. Both those shadows blended beautifully. No problems. I'm not noticing any patchiness or any issues blending, so that's good. Now going in with my Sigma E55, I'm going to be going into the color... I'm going to go into Bangle, which is right here. It's like a deep purpley color. It's like a grayish purpley color. Ooh, can't really see that very much. Maybe not. Okay, let's try the color fringe. There we go. This has a little bit more kickback than the rest of them. And we're gonna do a halo eye with this color. So I'm gonna pat that on the inner and outer corners. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's nicely pigmented. Now I'm going to go in with this Sigma E45. I'm just going to dip into fringe just a little bit. And I'm going to blend. I'm going to connect those two outer edges and blend a little of that color into the crease. I'm going to go back in with my Morphe E27. And I'm actually going to take the color Paradise, which is right here. And I'm going to use that to blend out my crease. This color Indulgence is jumping out at me, so let's see. Ooh, that's super pretty. Just for testing purposes, we're going to take it on this uh, double-ended Urban Decay brush. I'm going to take this flat side. I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and spray my brush. And then we're going to go into Indulgence. I'm going to pat that right in the center. Ooh, there's a lot of fallout from this color. Can you guys see that? It's a little crumbly. 
Let's try this color sweet with the other side of the brush. I'm going to pat that right in the center to open up the eye a little bit. That's better. Pretty. Both of these shimmery shades are pretty crumbly, so I would definitely suggest doing your eyes first before your foundation because I have quite a bit of fallout underneath here. So I'm just going to go back in with my Morphe E27 and go into Paradise and Euphoria. And I'm just going to blend out my crease again. Now since there's actually a matte cream color in this palette, actually there's a couple, I'm going to go in with Magical, which is, which is this color right here. And I'm going to take my Sigma E50. I want to highlight my brow bone with that. And I'm going to go into Euphoria one more time. Let's blend that crease. Okay, so I've gone ahead and wiped off my bake. And now we're going to move on to eyeliner. So I'm going to take the Sex Kitten eyeliner. This thing is so tiny. Look how cute that is. Whoa, that's weird. So I typically don't use pencil liners for my lid, but let's give it a shot. So I'm just gonna take and do a really thin line on my upper lash line. Ooh, this is super creamy though. So small, I can't get over it. Okay, it's too small for me to line my lids with. So I'm just gonna go in with my. I'm just gonna go in with my NYX matte liquid liner. Just line my upper lash line like I always do. Just a thin line just to hide the lash band. Oh my goodness, why am I having such a hard time with my liner tonight? Oh. Whew. I don't know why that was so difficult to do tonight. Oh, all right. I'm gonna leave it alone before I mess up my makeup. Now I'm gonna go in with this baby liner, the Sex Kitten. I'm going to line my waterline. Alright, and before I apply lashes, I'm going to be going in. I'm going to be taking the Tardis Lash Paint Mascara and coating my lashes. I don't know what it is about having mini products. Is, is, that, is it supposed to be like that? I don't think it's supposed to come out like that. Like, I don't know if you can tell. But that's just a big open hole, so what is going on? Okay, well, I'm going to use it anyway. I don't know why... I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's got really spiky bristles. I do not like spiky bristles. They're super hard. I feel like I'm scratching my eye. Seriously? What is going on tonight? <sighs> this video is going downhill very fast. What am I doing wrong? Let's try this again. Do not like this brush, but I do like how it's making my lashes look. I'm just gonna move on. So accidentally, I didn't even do this on purpose. Um, I went to go get lashes at Ulta, 
and I found these lashes. They are the Goddess Lashes by Tarte. So they look like that. Super pretty and fluffy. So I'm going to pop these on real quick and I'll be right back. <sighs> you guys, I am struggling. These lashes were giving me such trouble. Oh, I don't know. Okay, but we're going to move on. Um, I'm going to reline my tight line because the sex kitten, the sex kitten liner has already worn off. I'm just going to take my NYX Trey Jolie and line my upper waterline. This is not how I picture this video going. I didn't think it was necessary to really do a review video on this because I thought it was good. But I guess I was wrong. Maybe I should have made this a review video. So far, the only things working are the eyeshadows. While I'm here, I'm going to take my NYX Wonder Pencil in light and then I'll line my lower lash line. Just to open up my eyes a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with my Sigma E15. I'm basically going to copy what I did on my lid onto my lower lash line. So we're going to go in with fringe. And I'm going to stamp this on the outer and inner corner of my eye. And now I'm just going to wipe off that same brush. I'm going to spray it with my Urban Decay All Nighter. And we're going to go back into Indulgence. I'm going to stamp that in the center of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into Sweets and just stamp that directly in the center of that. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe E36. And I'm going to go into a little bit of Euphoria and Festival. And I'm going to blend out that lower lash line. I'm going to take this Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I'm going to go into the color Majestic. It's a nice gold color. I'm going to put that on the inner corner. Ooh, that gold's bright. That's pretty. So now we're going to move on to the face. I'm going to take my Sigma F05. I'm going to go down here into the bronzer color. I'm just going to... Contour slash bronze my cheek. For my skin type, it's a very subtle contour, but it's still really pretty. It's not coming off as subtle on camera, but in person, it's not that strong. So don't worry. So now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Angled Blush Brush and I'm going to go into this blush color because this one's got a little bit of shimmer in it and with all the texture I have on my face I try to avoid shimmery blushes and this one on this side is matte so I'm going to use this one. I really wish they put names on these blush and highlight and contour color. Is very pink okay all right and last I'm gonna go into the highlight I'm going to take my trusty fan brush go into the highlight that's pretty I'm just going to blend everything out. That highlight though, that's pretty. Alright, and last we're going to go in with the lips. 
we got two. We got a gloss and a lip paint. So they look like this. This one is the lip paint. This one is the gloss. So I'm going to go over the lip paint first. Whoa, it's super light. Okay. Ooh, that is a really light color. So that is the lip paint. And now we're going to go over it with the gloss, which looks a little pinkier. So hopefully it won't look as pale on me. And there's mold on the brush. Do you see that mold? Um, no. Okay, so I will not be using this. That's disgusting. Nope, I don't I don't know if it's the brush or if it's mold or what it is, but I've had a couple of these and it's never looked like this. So let me I'll go ahead and swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like. Um It's a really pretty color, so that's really sucks that I can't use it. But yeah, I'm not going to take any chances, so I'm not going to use this. So I'm going to set my face real quick. So that's it for this video using the Tarte Megazar Collector Set. It definitely did not go the way I thought it was going to go. That lip product. It's kind of scary. The eyeliner just disappeared right away. The mascara. The brush hurt. It wasn't a bad mascara, but the brush, because how stiff its bristles were, hurt really bad to apply into my lashes. So I didn't like that at all. Um, the eyes look pretty, but I think, I don't know. I guess I'm just not as blown away with the pigmentation as I thought I was going to be. It looks like a really pretty palette, but I don't know. I guess that's the problem with holiday sets is they're kind of hit and miss. So I would pass on this because the pigmentation isn't there. I, I You saw how I had to build up the color on my lids, the eyeliner again disappeared with almost right away the lip product the lip paint is fine um obviously like I said it's really light for my skin tone so if you're my skin tone or darker I don't know if you necessarily like it I mean I personally don't wear lip colors this light so everyone's different and the gloss again that's scary so this is probably going to be going back tomorrow but yeah overall Kind of disappointed. I, this was this really was not supposed to be a review video or any kind of I don't know. <laughs> this just did not turn out the way I planned it to turn out. So that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit. If you did, please click that like button down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.